Hello. Today I am at Erskine Park Run. It's my first time here, so I'm looking forward to this one. I've done my research, watched a few other videos, so I know there's a little loop at the start, and then it's a double out and back, and it's very flat. So this should be good. Although apparently we're gonna get wet feet today. It's all part of the fun. And just for my usual recap, I'll try and sum it up because I always go on too long about this. In November, I had a very nasty fall, ripped a hole in my leg. But I've been making these videos to document my recovery. And at this point, I'm pretty much recovered. I can run as much in a week as I was doing before I fell. And about as fast, or maybe a bit faster. So yeah, I'm pretty much recovered. But it's still fun making these videos. So I'll keep doing them for a while. Even if it does mean I'm running around looking like an idiot talking to myself with a camera. You probably can't see it that well on the camera, but it is a nice spot here. I like this. I know the route does get quite narrow at points as well. And especially with it being a double out and back, that could be a bit awkward. But I think by the time I'm on my way back for the first time, it should be spread out enough that I'm not going to be overtaking anyone or have anybody overtake me. And then by the time I'm coming back the second time, um, it'll be far enough into the run that everyone else will be roughly spread out as well. Hopefully. Three, two, one, we go! Thank you. Thank you. Nice one guys, well done. Three forty six. Thank you. <laughs> Heading back. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, well done. Yeah. Good stuff, Andy, well done. Thank you. And back the way again. Three fifty six. I shall do hold on. Had to slow down for a good few seconds on the narrow bit here. That's all right. Thank you. <laughs> Multitasking. Hello, well Wendy. Well done. Well done, guys. Into the wind. Oh. 
Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You see, well done. That's our last push, well done. I like that. 1925-ish. I did have to come almost to a stop, like you said, at the far end. Because between the bridge and the loop, it's very narrow. Great stuff, man. Well done. Good. Great stuff, folks. Well done. If there's only one way traffic at that point, it's fine. But if you've got people coming both ways, there isn't really any space. Thanks again. Well done. So I probably lost a few seconds because of that, but can't be helped. You too, well done. Good job to you, well done. Well, Wendy, well done. Great stuff, Wendy. <laughs> because it's an out and back, it's good for running back and forward with friends if you're here with a group of people. And because it's a double out and back, you get to see them loads during the run as well. So yeah, if you've got a group of people, this is a nice one for that. I don't know exactly what my pace was for the last K. I kept my watch running because I was coming back and forward to meet friends. And last week, I had so many different activities recorded on my watch because I kept stopping and starting it. But today I just keep it on as one single activity. But my Garmin clocked it up to be 4.98 or 4.99k. So because it stopped so long before reaching 5k, I'm not really sure what my uh, pace for the last one was. But I know it was under four minutes. I was determined to get it back under four after having that 401 and it was under four when I reached the turning point well past the turning point this time I reached that at 18.30 so it was about 55-ish seconds from there to the end which is handy to keep in mind if I come back here I like having physical landmarks like that where I know from this bit to this bit, or from here to the end, it should be roughly this much time. Good stuff to see you, almost there, well done. Again, folks. Well, that's been a really nice day. Got a lovely park run, got to meet some really nice people. Ah, doesn't get much better than that. So my time was 1926. So I really, really chuffed with that time. Last week at Edinburgh I was 1920. And that was, I think, my fifth or sixth fastest park run ever. Sixth. Um, but 1926 is an interesting time because that's now four locations where my fastest time is 1926. I think it's Camperdown, Kirkcaldy, Troon, and now Erskine. My, my fastest time at Loch Orr used to be 1926 as well. But the time I seem to get a lot. I don't think there's much more to add for this video. So thanks for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Anyone who's subscribed recently, thank you. It's just nice for me to see the numbers going up. Now I'm going to get home 
and just not move for the rest of the day. Ah.